So you ordered your first batch of custom packaging and now you're just waiting for your mailman to come drop it on your doorstep. It actually isn't that simple. Freight shipments are complicated and you need to be prepared. I'm Jesse Janae, this is Shipping Things, and today I'm gonna to educate you on everything you need to know to accept your first freight shipments. You guys have to realize, freight shipments are far more complicated than your typical parcel shipment. At Lumi, we do provide you with what's called a progressive number, very similar to a tracking number in the parcel world. But even then, you only know a certain amount about what's happening with your shipment. It's very important that you start preparing on your end to actually receive this stuff. Let me break this down for you. With a freight shipment, it's not just a box going through and landing on your doorstep. The box has to go on a pallet, that pallet has to go on a forklift, the forklift has to go in a truck. This just isn't working, guys. Let's actually go to the other side of the wall. The first thing to consider is will your freight shipment fit into the space you have? When you just click buttons online and order like 3,000 of something, that might sound reasonable, but do you have the space for it? This is 1,600 boxes, while this is 1,600 mailers. Vast difference in amount of space to take up. And remember, an average pallet is 40 by 48 inches. Will that fit into your door? Because if not, you're gonna be unloading the pallet by hand. The long and short of it is that a standard size pallet does not fit in normal sized entries. If you have to use an elevator, for instance, you should check whether you have access to a freight elevator because a normal elevator might not be able to hold your pallet dimension wise or weight wise. And same goes for standard doors. You're gonna check if you have access to a freight door or a loading dock because a normal man-sized door is not gonna cut it. If you've measured all your doors, but getting a standard pallet into your fifth floor walk up in Brooklyn just ain't gonna happen, the good news is there are options, but it's good old fashioned labor. You're gonna remove each bundle or each box from your pallet and walk it on up. Even if your pallets will fit into your space, you need to consider how you're gonna move them around. These things are heavy. You can lease or buy your own forklift if you need a longer term solution and you're doing a lot of this stuff, but there's other choices. There's a pallet jack. For just hundreds of dollars instead of thousands, you can get yourself a pallet jack. You can use it to crank pallets up and move them around. But even if this is too much of an investment, you're not out of luck yet. You could also try a dolly. Dollies are inexpensive, easy to store, and they can move boxes around really effectively too. Lastly, but not leastly, if you don't have any fancy equipment, you can always use a bit of friendly labor. But, oh, I forgot to talk about lift gates. This is important, guys. If you don't have a forklift or a loading dock, you have to request a lift gate with your freight delivery. It's actually a piece of equipment that's attached to the back of the truck that's gonna come, and it's like a little elevator that can lower your freight shipment down to the ground for easy unloading. For freight deliveries, you have to be on site to receive your shipment. They'll give you a block of time, but it won't be super precise, so you should be there the whole time. If you miss your shipment, they're gonna take it away in the truck and they'll charge you again to come back. We're almost done, I promise. But after your freight shipment is off the truck and on the ground, you wanna make sure to inspect it before your driver leaves. They're gonna give you a document called a bill of lading. It's like a receipt. All the items you've received are on there and you'll take that, review the shipment, walk around and check it for damages. If there's any significant damages to the product, you wanna document it immediately. Take photographs and contact your vendor ASAP. Well, that's it, folks. I know that receiving freight is much harder than receiving a package from Amazon, but this stuff is big, literally. So make sure that you check your bill of lading, you make sure your space is ready to receive your pallets, and that if you need help unloading, you invite some friends over. I hope you're ready to receive pallets like a boss now. Go forth and start shipping.